I'm a sysadmin using macOS and I'd like to show you my basic setup I do on fresh macOS install. First thing I do is always go to system settings, make the dock smaller and remove unnecessary applications from dock. I suggest either small dock or hide it completely. I like to have no animations so that application opening is instant. Remove suggested and recent applications from dock and do a few minor changes while I'm in settings. After that, let's configure Finder. You can open up settings for almost any app on macOS by pressing Command and Comma. Here I hide everything from showing up on our desktop. When we're opening new Finder tab or window, I like to be located in my home directory, as that location is where I save all of my data. I turn off all tags because I do not use them. Three most important settings are showing me file extensions, search only in current directory plus all subdirectors inside, and add pet bar so that I can easily see in which directory I am, and also you can navigate using pet bar. First thing I'm going to install is a Raycast. Raycast is a replacement for Spotlight and we can use it for very quick maneuvering around macOS. Raycast is simple to install, just download it from their website, place it in your applications directory and you're done. You can take a look at some examples such as calculator, window management, clipboard history during, during installation phase. Most important thing here to do, at least for me, is to replace Spotlight keyboard shortcut with Raycast. So you should map command plus space to be used with Raycast, but also put a tick mark around open at login so that Raycast is always open after rebooting macOS. Grant few permissions and you are ready to go. Next thing I install is Homebrew. It's a packet manager for macOS. Installation is simple, just go to Homebrew website, find install command and copy it in your terminal. You need sudo permissions to install it. While we're waiting for Homebrew to install, let's install Google Chrome. To start Google Chrome, press command plus space to open up Raycast and then type in Chrome. Raycast is always learning, so each time you open up Chrome, for example, you will need less and less letters to open it up. For example, already on next opening, you would only need letter C and it will bring up Chrome as your first suggestion. I install Adblock Plus on Google Chrome, sign into my Google account, sync all my settings and I'm done with Chrome. In the meantime, Brew finished with installation and now only thing left to do is copy commands printed out by Brew into terminal to add Brew support into your profile. Let's install Raycast Brew support now by opening Raycast and typing in store. Search for brew and install brew with double hitting enter key. Search for brew search in Raycast and now you can install homebrew plugins using Raycast. First plugin I'll be installing is Rectangle, window management tool using shortcuts on your keyboard. Control, option and arrow keys will be enough for most of window management tasks. Most important thing to do when installing new plugins is to put a tick mark on launch on login so that every time you reboot your Mac, plugins are automatically launched. Setting I like the most with Rectangle is changing cycle into one third, half or two thirds on each repeated command. So that if we want our browser to take two thirds of space, we can simply triple click control option and left arrow key. List of all shortcuts can be seen when clicking rectangle icon in the top toolbar. Next plugin is Alt Tab. On macOS, you can see only icon of application when using Alt Tab. So if we have multiple instances of same application, we would be able to see only one. With this plugin, we can take a look at the preview of application running. Using Brew Search, we install Alt Tab, launch it and configure that command and tab is our new application change manager. Now I'll be installing another two plugins hidden bar and stats. With stats we can take a look at our Mac hardware loads and with hidden bar we can hide whatever icons we don't want to see in a top toolbar. 
Short notice here, when opening Hide and Bar for the first time, you need to go into Applications and right click Open this app. When you want to hide an icon in your toolbar, just hide it with pressing Command, moving the icon behind the vertical bar. Now I'll show you how to install iTerm and Visual Studio Code using Brew and Xargs. First, we create a textual file with a list of applications we'd like to install. Then using Xargs and Brew install, we iterate through the file and install all apps in that file. Installing Docker using Brew is simple. Just write down Brew install dash dash cask Docker and you have Docker ready on your macOS. I'll install now Och My Zish. It's a powerful shell on Linux and macOS with hundreds of plugins, themes and very easy to customize. Super easy to install, just copy paste the command you can see on their website into your terminal. I'll show you a list of plugins I use on my screen right now. The installation of those plugins is very simple. Just go to Plugins GitHub, check for Ochmaizish installation guides and just do them. For Zoxide plugin though, you first need FZF plugin. I'll leave you now in a time lapse of me installing all plugins and if you want to install them, you can slow down the video and do it as I do. Zoxide is a very useful plugin that allows you to cd into a directory without just a cutout of directory path. It learns as you use it and you can go into any directory you visited recently as simple as, a, as entering cd and the name of that directory. RipGrep is a super useful tool that replaces grep. You can just type rg and word you're looking for and it will search inside of current directory, subdirectory and all files for that word. I like to configure iTerm with material colors. You can download them from online gallery, save them on your Mac with .itermcolors extension and import them into iTerm. Besides some regular configuration here, two of them I'd like to mention are unlimited scrollback, saves you when you forget to save a log output, and the second one is minimal theme, which makes tabs look much, much better. Last thing I'll install are some extensions for VS Code. I like Atom Dark Theme and Material Icons plus some extensions that help my productivity, which you can see on a list on the screen. I 
hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a like and comment down below what would you like to see next.